Hi, I'm here today to show you how to use a product called Mildew Free. We've recently remodeled this bathroom. We tore out all the old tile, put in new cement board, new tile and grout. And the last step is just to seal everything up. Okay, we're about ready to get started. Now let's take a minute and talk about the different tools you'll need for this job. The first tool is called a painter's 5-in-1 tool. This is a great tool to use to remove any of the old sealant that might be there, any grout residue and any other debris from both sides of the joint that you want to seal. There's a scraper here on the end and also a pick. These are going to come in handy for removing all that old junk. The next tool we've got is a utility knife, which is handy for cutting out any old sealant and is used to cut the tube to the size of bead that you need. Next, I have a mixture of one part bleach to nine parts water, and we're going to use this to rinse out the joint, killing and removing any mold or mildew that might be present behind the old sealant. An abrasive sponge or a bristle brush are great for scrubbing out the joints. You are going to want to have a handy supply of paper towels or rags to remove any residue from the surface, tools, and your hands. I've got a couple types of painter's tape. I like to use tape to seal off both sides of the joint, and after applying and tooling the sealant, you get a nice clean line and bead when you're done. Applying tape is an optional step, but makes everything look good. The next tool is a beading tool, which has different size notches to create the size of bead you need. I'm going to use this rather than my finger to get a clean line. You could also use a foam brush or trowel to tool if you wish. Next, I've got a tube of Mechanica silicone caulk remover, which is a great product to remove any silicone residue or oils from the surface. This three ounce tube should be enough to remove any residue around the tub. And last but not least is the sealant we're going to use called Mildew Free. If you go to any hardware store, there are a lot of tub and tile caulks to choose from. I've chosen to use Mildew Free from Sashko for a couple reasons. First, even though we're in Colorado where there's a very dry climate, bathrooms in every house are prone to mildew growth due to the high humidity. Second, Sashko offers a 7 year replacement warranty against mildew growth. If I ever have mildew grow on the sealant, not only will the product be replaced at no charge, but they will pay for a contractor to come in, remove the old caulk, and replace it for me. First, remove all the old caulk and caulk residue, or loose grout, and definitely remove any pockets of mildew. I like to use a knife and 5-in-1 tool for this. Be careful not to scratch the tub with your tools. Water can also help to soften the residue if necessary. If the caulk that you removed was silicone, you have to get all the residue and oils off the surface, or your new sealant will not adhere well. I have found that the best product to use is a silicone remover such as Mechanica Silicone Caulk Remover. This product can be found in many hardware stores or online. I've already removed the residue from this tub, so let's go upstairs to another bathroom so I can show you how the Mechanica product works. First, test the Mechanica product in a small area before you use it to make sure there are no problems. Try to remove as much of the old caulk as possible and then clean and dry the surface. Apply Mechanica gel to the remaining caulk residue, covering the surface of the old material. Then clean off any of the excess gel. Leave Mechanica on the surface for two to three hours, then remove the gel and residue with a tool or abrasive sponge. Be careful not to scratch the surface. Reapply the Mechanica product if traces of silicone still remain on the surface. And finally, clean the surface with denatured alcohol before you apply fresh caulk. Okay, now we're back in the downstairs bathroom. Next, you want to clean and sanitize the area with a household bleach mixture. Kill any existing mildew. Work the mixture into the joint and scrub well using a scrub pad or brush. And then rinse with clean water and dry thoroughly. I'm applying painter's tape to both sides of the joint. This is an optional step, but I've found it gives a nice clean bead and prevents a lot of extra time cleaning up the residue. After the tape is on, I'm checking the spacing with the beading tool to get an even bead. I'm filling the tub with water at this point, which opens up the joints. Often you'll see sealants pulling away from the tub because they can't handle movement when the tub is full of water. If you caulk when the tub is full, it creates a better seal. Trim the nozzle at an angle to the desired bead size. Squeeze mildew free into the joint. You'll find that this product comes out of the tube very easy. I like the squeeze tube size better than a full 10 ounce cartridge because it's just about the right size for a standard bathroom application. I have found that when I buy a full cartridge, I end up storing it in the garage and then throwing out a dried tube with the remaining caulk. Tool the bead with a wet foam brush, putty knife, finger, or beading tool. I tend to remove too much material with my finger, so I'm using a beading tool. Mildew Free has a very mild odor, and I think you'll find it easy to tool. If you need to go over the joint a few times to get the product smooth, that's okay. I'm using the white color, which matches our tub. This product also comes in a linen or off-white color and should match most fixtures. This product dries to a matte finish, which is a great alternative to the high-gloss silicones and other caulks out there. 
Now that we're done tooling, let's peel off the tape to check out our finished product. It's very important to apply the right tub and tile sealant for your application. I highly recommend Mildew Free because it looks nice and clean, it's the easiest to apply out of the many products I've tried, it's elastic and maintains a good seal, and is the best warranty I can find. If these beads I've applied grow mildew in the next seven years, someone else can come in here and fix it for me free of charge. Cleanup is easy with soap and water, and more environmentally friendly than using solvents. Wait a minimum of 24 to 48 hours before spraying the bead with water. If you have filled the tub, leave the water until you're ready to use it for the first time. For more information, go to www.sashco.com.